In the current year, comparing someone to... I don't know if I'm allowed to say it in the first 60... YouTube has this weird rule where you lose your monetization for a video if you swear in the first 60 seconds. But I'm not actually sure if Homeboy's name is counted as a swear word. Let's call him Mustache Man. In the current year, comparing someone to Mustache Man in an argument is one of the most pathetic things you can possibly do. We've all seen people do it, because as much as people on the internet love to argue, it doesn't seem like anyone's ever getting any better at it, and I shouldn't really have to explain why comparing someone to Mustache Man in an argument is the dumbest thing you could possibly do, but just in case you're someone who likes to compare people to Mustache Man in an argument, let me explain. Mustache Man was one of the most evil people to ever exist, and if you you're genuinely comparing someone to him, you are doing one of two things, or possibly both depending on the context. Thing number one is you're saying that the person you're arguing with is comparably evil and despicable to Mustache Man because of the things that they say, which unless the person you're talking to is an actual genocidal dictator trying to invade Europe, it's just a really stupid thing to do. Or thing number two you're doing is essentially saying that the stuff Mustache Man did was equally bad as the stuff you disagree with in that argument, which I would say is even more offensive than thing number one, because only the dumbest person alive could take actual literal mustache man and think to themselves, yeah, all that dude's murdering and genociding and country invading, that was basically the same as this person who disagreed with me on the internet. You know, the thing that literally doesn't affect anybody, those two things are equal. Yeah, everything here, totally equal in impact, and I'm drooling on the floor again, oops. Basically, bringing up Mustache Man, I'm just gonna keep calling him Mustache Man now, I'm just gonna play it extra safe with my monetization, how about that? And down in the comments, I want you to give me your favorite advertiser-friendly name for this guy, just cause I think that would be funny. But basically, my thesis here is that bringing up Mustache Man in an argument for no actual reason either means you have no legitimate argument and are just trying to play a proverbial Trump card that isn't actually a Trump card, or it means you're a complete idiot who actually equates one of the most evil people to ever exist with anyone who disagrees with you and your dog shit opinions. Which brings us to today's main event. I said in a recent video, it was this one, by the way, that 2024 was going to be a wild year if people were raging at the existence of mods and PC games, but here we are less than a week later and people are unironically invoking Mustache Man in the console war. So yeah, this year's off to a phenomenal start. It all began with this post from Unleashed. Now, viewers of my channel know how I feel about Unleashed. I'm not convinced he's an actual person. I'm 99% sure he's just farming engagement by acting like the most delusional PlayStation fanboy to ever live. But given how often he posts and how much time and effort he puts into the farming, it's still ridiculously pathetic. Like either he actually is the most delusional PlayStation fanboy to ever live, or he's 24-7 LARPing as the most delusional PlayStation fanboy to ever live, and that's really not much better. But if there's one thing that Unleashed is good for, it's bringing out the most insane defenders of his takes. Because when you're posting stuff as galaxy-brained and high IQ as Unleashed, you better believe the people defending those things are getting even more high IQ and even more galaxy-brained, and it's so fucking juicy, I love it. Basically, Unleashed, if you're watching this, never stop. Like, truly, never stop, never change, not even a little bit. So anyways, Unleashed goes ahead and posts this zero out of eight bait, to which Cam the Goat correctly replies and points out that this kind of non-stop obsessive hate for something is, you know, obsessive. But this is where the main event really begins. This is our inciting incident. You know, on the, on the plot graph, this is when things go upwards. Because someone unironically going by revenge with a capital V in the middle of the word revenge, because that's apparently how the word revenge is spelled now, they respond, A lot of people talked about Mustache Man during World War II. Doesn't mean people didn't hate him. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Now, naturally, I had to look into who this sterling intellectual was, because it's not every day that God gives you the opportunity to commune with someone of his stature. But when I clicked on his profile, I was taken aback, because according to his bio, he's not of God's stature. He is God. And his bio also says that he doesn't follow. He is followed. By 33 people. After three years on the platform. That's... That's really something. I also love this line, if you're here, then I probably made you upset. No, I'm here because you're genuinely hysterical. But obviously with a take as stupid as this, there were going to be some responses, and watching this lad try to defend himself was... 
Magnificent. Alex responds, you're literally comparing genocide with console war bullshit. You're not just sad, you truly are the most pathetic console warrior on this platform. Revenge says, point still stands. Function says, I don't think anyone is not gonna try to talk about a guy actively committing the genocide of millions and started the Second World War, leading millions more to their deaths as a result. That's not the same as constantly talking about a plastic box that never did anything to harm you. Revenge says, the point still stands. The Brit Who Cares says, Mate, you comparing World War II to console war, mate, you're cringe. Revenge says, the point still stands. Scott, you just don't get it, do you? You don't. It's no hassle. But I'm... All I'm sh... They're gonna get a... I... I'm just... We... Which, knock knock. Who's there? Shh. And the Brit followed it up with, you must be trolling, you're comparing World War II to console war, there's a big difference, if you can't see that, then there's something wrong with you. Revenge says, looks like you couldn't invalidate it as expected. <laughs> oh lord, this year's off to a phenomenal start. Um, hang on, I have coffee ready, I have to go take it off the, I have to go, I have to go make it stop yelling at me. Look, when you make a point that makes absolutely no logical sense, the burden of proof is on you, okay? You just compared Xbox to Mustache Man. You did that. Like, you chose to do that. It's not up to the people in the audience to figure out the stupid flowchart that got you there. But since you absolutely insist on someone disproving your point, allow me to do the honors because I have nothing else to do today, and at least I actually make some money off doing stuff like this. I'm not just some moron with a phone and a console superiority complex. This all started when someone made a console war bait post, bashing Xbox, and then they got a response that OP might be obsessed with Xbox if they're putting this much effort into bashing the brand. You then compared Xbox in this situation to Mustache Man, suggesting that a rivalry between two video game companies is equatable to people talking about Mustache Man during World War II. These things are obviously not the same. We're talking about consumers of one product obsessively throwing shade at a different product. This is simply not equatable to an actual genocidal dictator who was obviously going to be in public discourse because people were trying to put a stop to him. Remember what I said earlier in this video about how comparing people's arguments to Mustache Man does one of two things? Because this is exactly what I'm talking about. By acting like these two things are the same, you're suggesting that the people obsessively bashing Xbox at every opportunity are doing so because the presence of Xbox is an existential threat to various peoples and countries, which is stupid. Or you're suggesting that the conquest of Mustache Man during World War II was exactly the same as Xbox simply competing with PlayStation in the modern day, which is even stupider. Look, I'm, I'm tired of this topic and I want to go play Brotato, so I'm going to stop talking about this topic and go play Brotato. But just take one thing away from this, if nothing else. Comparing someone or something that's nothing like Mustache Man to Mustache Man in order to win an argument or act like you have some kind of moral superiority or intellectual high ground over other people is childish, immature, and frankly, just pathetic at this point. Especially when the topic in question is the fucking console war. I appreciate the content though, thank you for that, toodles.